All right, guys, I'm Rabia. And I'm Matt. And this is Sound Like on Anderson's TV. So, Mr. Matthew. Yes, Rabia. How are you doing? I'm, well, I'm good, actually. Yeah, good day. Good. It has been a good day. Yes. For many a reason. Many, many But ways. not the reason we're doing this video. This video, we're going to try and sound like Gary Clark Jr. Gary Clark Jr. Who, this is, yeah, no, we're trying to kind of knock off the ones that you've been asking for for a while. Yeah. So, this is another one that a lot of you guys were interested in seeing. He's, yep. play, he's got his own signature Epiphone Casino guitar. He does. In fact, the first time I saw him play was on the uh, Stevie Wonder tribute show. Right, okay. He jumps on stage for higher ground and he just starts jamming out nice. on the uh, on his guitar and it's a really, really great sound. He's got a great yeah, tone. He's really, really good as well. Great yeah. player. So, yeah, we're going to see what we can do to sound like him. Yeah, there we go. Let's do it. So, we need to find, I guess, an Epiphone Casino. Yes, and I spotted one earlier. Yes. Definitely not the right colour, but I think it's pretty much the right guitar. We don't actually have access to his signature, uh, no. the black and bluey burst. Yeah. Um, but there are a couple down here on Gibson Epiphone. Follow us. Here would be an Epiphone Casino. This is basically the one. This. This it's, is the one we're gonna get. It's pretty much the, the only one. Mm. So Lovely. Yeah, it is lovely. Amps-wise, we're looking at a, a Vibro King by Fender. A little bit expensive. So we need to find something fairly budget. The guitar costs 429 quid, so we've got a bit to play with. We've got about 1,070 left, so I reckon we could get away with spending maybe seven, as high as 800 quid on an amp. Well, in the world of Fender, you're talking Hot Rod Deluxe 3 for £767. What he said. So this amplifier is the Hot Rod Deluxe 3. It's a very popular amp. Lee Anderson loves this amplifier. For the yep. price, you can't really go wrong. And it's, it's 40 watts on yep. the tube, and we've used it before, and it sounds really, really good. There's one in the video room already, although I believe it's a limited edition Tolex version, and we might even have one of these over there. So in any case, this is the amp we're going to use. We're using the Bigfoot Octopus and we're using the Walrus Audio Jupiter Fuzz. So those two hopefully will fix the problem. Yeah, we've had a bit of a mission because he uses he uses a like an Octofuzz and he also he's used a tube screw in the past. Yeah. So we're going to use a TS9 Micro TS9. We are. So that's what we're going to do. We don't have a wah and we don't have. Any, his kind of any. tremolo flint delay reverb but there's reverb on the amp so so we're gonna have to choose wisely and see how we can do yeah let's go and see what happens We're back in the video room. We are indeed, Mr. Yes, Matthew. Yes, we are Rabia. Yes. Um, in our quest to sound like Gary Clark Jr. Indeed, that is what we are trying to do. So without further ado... Well, I must say, I'm pretty chuffed with this one. It's come out rather well. It huh? came out at a bit of a random curveball at the end of the day when we were like, there wasn't enough gear to do the other artists we were going to do, but we can't say who because that'll happen another time. Yes. So instead we went, what about Gary Clark Jr? That's been requested loads. It has been requested loads. Yeah. And so we did a bit of research, did a bit of digging, and this is kind of what we came up with. Yeah, it's been a happy coincidence that it's just worked out, I think, yeah, pretty yeah. well. And actually, it's the first time we've used the Epiphone Casino. It is. This we've been we've been toying with this in the past for different artists, yep. but we've never actually gone ahead and taken a punt with it until now, and that's because Gary Clark Jr. uses his own signature Epiphone Casino. He does, and apparently really really likes them. Obviously, he's got yeah. signatures, so he's he he would. But it has to be said, this guitar did not get in my way in any way possible. Like the tuning was being fine, the yeah. playability, like the tone. <laughs> It 
It's solid. You know, it's to be honest with you, it that's hasn't... a great looking guitar and only four hundred thirty quid. Yeah, and it's ridiculous value yeah. considering. Like I hit pretty hard, and with it being a bluesy kind of band, you do whack the strings. Dig in, yeah. But nothing's gone wrong. Like no, nothing's gone out of tune, and it feels great to play. Great sustain. Yeah. Well, and it looks beautiful. Yeah. It looks the part. Really chuffed with that. So um, I think we did good with the guitar. And then into the amp, which is the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. It comes this, complete with the dog as well. Uh, yes, we've got a little porcelain dog. Yeah, his name's Wilfred. <laughs> um, in any case, this is the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Mark III. However, this particular one belongs to Mr. Peter Nore. Yes, in his special uh, kind of flowery wrap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But essentially it's the same amp. Yes, it is. And so that's kind of squeezed us in budget. And actually, we had a pretty tough deal. I thought we'd be winning because yeah. the guitar's really good value. Yeah. But actually, squeezing everything we needed out of the pedals was a bit more of a challenge. Yeah, he has a very short, so he has a very small selection of pedals, but they're all very dear. Yeah, uh, and, and it's, it's obvious where he gets And it's of his that tone. thing again when we're trying to find a nice, saturated, um, fuzzy, overdriven tone, mm. you, you, it's hard to skimp. Yeah, and it has to be said that with these recordings of the artists we're listening to, you can tell on that recording for some of the songs we did, that amp was cranked. I mean, it was yeah, really loud. clean channel inherently has more low end than yep. the drive channel but for different excerpts we'd mess between the two see which one was more fitting and actually end up using a blend of both clean and drive channels yeah and and the ts9 here uh oh, it's the ts808 sorry it is um we've just so you know in our price we have the the ts9 mm -hmm. mini but we're actually out of stock right now so this little second hand beast came in to save the day it did um but you know it's relatively don't shoot me the same thing yeah um, <laughs> and then next to it we've got the walrus audio jupiter fuzz and this is the v1 i believe and then lastly a very cool pedal that requires no power whatsoever and no indicator that it's on or no off. it's just an and octopus i mean you'd know if it was on you would know but it just all that did for us was supply us with that octavio kind of octofuzz yeah. sound and it that's all this pedal does but it does it very well so we're going to go through each bit of gear and show you what it sounds like and I guess that's how it all amalgamated to be the tones for Gary Clark Jr. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some building. So what does it sound like? Well, this is. is Casino straight into the drive channel on the uh, uh, deluxe hot rod and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Sounds great. It really, really does. It's got a lovely vintage vibe. I don't yeah, know, something it's just about warm. the attack it it... on that as well. That well, it's I've really... got to say, for that price, that guitar is well good for the money. Yeah, I mean, four thirty. Did you say? Yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Can't really go nice. wrong. Nice. Anyway, right. Let's dig in a bit of tube scream action. Should hear a lack of bass. So before, after. Oh, oh yeah. Loads of less bass. I mean, really, we're using this uh, to tame some of the other sounds, aren't we? Should we show you that? Let's just yeah. go switch this off, switch this on. Okay. Powerful. Okay. Yeah, so if you just play more, I'll turn this on. I mean, what it does is it, it's, it like put a punch right in the midsection. Yeah, it lightens time. it all up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ah, 
That's lovely. Lots of reverb there. Put quite a bit too much reverb in there. <laughs> it's a tone that I've never, I don't have a lot of experience with this kind of guitar setup or sound, but to be fair to it, it's loads of sustain. It feels really chewy and warm and easy to play. Yeah, All yeah. that bluesy lead stuff. Well, feels I mean, you great. can absolutely kill, like, let's just try like loads of fuzz. Loads of fuzz. <laughs> That is intense. That's pretty hot. Sorry, I did. I did go. It no, feels really good though. On it. Yeah, it's, but it's super warm, super warm. And I think we we got in pretty much bang on budget as well. So it, it's not like we spent loads and loads and loads. But this is this sounds great. One thing I will I will say we should try is just go back to clean channel so that we're just getting yeah. a lot more low end. So yeah. So let's layer it up on the clean channel and see what happens. Okay. So this is just clean. Yep. Stick a bit of cheese screamer in. It's going to sound random. So that was, yeah, vo on volume on half, but let's just stick this in as well. Okay. I mean, that's harder to play than the with the drive on because it's more sustained from the amp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it still feels really nice and warm. And again, the octopus does exactly what it says. So I guess if we dial in some, some just, fat fuzz, I was gonna, I was gonna just see what it sounded like on its on own. On its own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really random. I don't know what that was, but it feels like it should be a kind of. It's like something it, about that that feels really yeah. bouncy and lovely. We are just messing around with pedals, Matthew, at this point. Yeah, messing around is constructive and definitely recommended. And I'm going to say one thing here is that this is like a time capsule rig. What I mean by that is if you want a kind of dirty blues kind of that feel rig, I mean, these three and the two amp, the amp and the guitar, it gets that feel. Yeah, you know? but and even, even if you just want something that's really, really tasty, for something yeah. like blues or even just... Kind of more singer songwritery or I would just like to really... do this on busting. Oh, definitely. Man. Because like we wanted to get the clon, the J Rad clon, but it was too expensive. We couldn't fit it was over it in, budget. Yeah. And and then we could add stuff like with a delay. Yeah, the proper that Fender would be, amp he that uses. Would be beautiful. The flint um, which he uses. Yeah. Oh man, it could go on. And a wah. Yeah. But um I think I think for fifteen hundred quid this is it's awesome. a great sounding it's really rig. awesome. And on that note, we should probably mention that the links to all this gear is in the description box. As always. And as always, let us know who else you'd like to see and what you thought of this. Yes, please do. And with that, I've been Rabir. And I've been Matt. And this has been Sound Like on Anderton's TV.